So I'm now looking straight at the tunnel entrance. This is sort of the uh, the pretty side, shall we say, of the tunnel entrance. It has this like castle sort of fascia to it. It was a building built for the fans, I believe. It houses the big fans which blow all the fumes through because there's no ventilation shafts in this tunnel. Well, in this video, we're going to look at the tunnels that run through the hill here. Hare Castle Tunnel is the one we all know today, which was the Thomas Telford Tunnel. But did you know there's actually three tunnels running through this hill? Yes, there are three tunnels. There's the Telford Tunnel we use today. There's the old James Brindley Tunnel. These are both canal tunnels, which uh, went out of operation, I believe, back in World War I. And there's also a rail tunnel. Yes, so there's three tunnels which run through the hill. We can't get to see the rail tunnel, uh, but we do see the other two in this video. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but they've just turned on the uh, fans. Let's go up a bit closer and see if we can get a bit of a better look. So now I'm just a few feet away from the tunnel entrance. Well, I say a few feet, but I don't know, 100 feet away from the tunnel entrance. You can hear the fans now quite easily. Well, I can anyway. I assume they're getting picked up on the camera. There's already three boats here waiting to go through. I'm not quite sure what time they're going through from the Sens. It could be the first way. So, whether I run down there and get in the queue yet, I'm not sure. We'll see. I'll do the next batch otherwise. And there is the water point. Information board. I'm going to start off looking at the original tunnel, the James Brindley Tunnel, which construction started in 1770. Unfortunately, James Brindley died in 1772, but they continued on with the construction of it, and it was completed in 1777. To construct this tunnel, they dropped 15 vertical shafts down from the top and dug outwards uh, from each shaft to complete the length of the tunnel. This tunnel was built without any towpath, so the boatsmen had to leg the boats through. They also had a big problem when they were building it with water getting into it, the water seepage into the tunnel and it kept flooding. So they solved this problem by installing a lot of what steam engines to pump the water out. When the original Brindley tunnel was built in 1777, when it was completed, it was actually the longest navigable canal tunnel in Britain. It superseded his two previous longest tunnels, which were Norwood and Chesterfield. So Brindley, actually, at the construction of this tunnel, built the three longest tunnels at that point in time in the country. Well, this is the entrance to the original James Brindley Tunnel. And we can see here this lovely orange-coloured water here. That's due to iron ore in the hill. You can see the water still trickling through, which is coming out of the hill. And the original canal alignment's here. And this original canal alignment would have gone down basically where I'm moored up right now. Currently it stops there and the water disappears, probably down to a pipe, which probably takes it into the canal, I don't know. I assume it does. I'm assuming they're putting that water into the main part of the canal. Who knows? Big sign on there saying keep out. I didn't really want to go in there anyway. One of the main reasons why this tunnel actually shut was because it didn't actually collapse, but due to subsidence, it uh, became very low and impossible for the boats to get through. So because it sunk, basically, it was closed. And the new tunnel was open, which by the way, is also slowly sinking. So I'm not sure how much longer We'll even have that tunnel to go through. The 
Thomas Telford Tunnel, the tunnel we use today, was decided was required because they couldn't get enough traffic through the Brindley Tunnel at the time. It had become so popular due to the Industrial Revolution, getting coal down to the potteries and getting the pottery out, they required a second tunnel. The original construction of this, I believe, started in 1824. It took only three years to complete and was opened in 1827. Now, this tunnel was actually built originally with a towpath through it, so the transport was much, much quicker going in through the uh, Telford Tunnel because the horses could walk it. And what they had at the time was a one-up, one-down situation. So I, I don't know which way around it was, I can't find that, but either the Telford Tunnel was up or the Telford Tunnel was down and the Brindley, vice versa. I'm not sure which way round it was. Now, both these tunnels operated in conjunction with each other until 1914, when the subsidence in the Brindley Tunnel got too great and traffic uh, ceased to go through it. Some point thereafter, the towpath was removed once powered craft were in operation because the towpath was no longer required and by removing the towpath it meant the central alignment of the canal where it also started to sink it meant the boats would go through the middle of the tunnel rather than slightly to one side and where it was dropping down was there was catching up with the, you know the boats were catching on the sides so by removing the towpath, it allowed them to go straight through the middle again. Those fans are quite noisy and you can hear them all the way through the uh, tunnel as well. When you come from the other end this way, they keep the door shut this end. So you can't actually see the end of the tunnel until you're almost there. Because uh, they are blowing the, every, all the fumes out from the, through the other end. Go and from the direction I'm going, you can actually see the end of the tunnel uh, quite quickly actually, once you get into the tunnel and your eyes adjust to it. Well, I'm going to walk back to my boat right now and I think I'm going to go and get in the queue. Might as well. well. As I said at the start, or the title of this video actually implements, there are actually three separate tunnels running through the hill. The other one being the Rail Tunnel, which was opened in 1848 and only took two years to construct. But the Rail Tunnel was actually built in three sections through the hill, so it was actually three separate tunnels. Well, in 1965, due to electrification of the railways, it was decided that the southern and the middle sections of these tunnels were too low and they couldn't get the overhead electrification in place through the tunnels. So it was the, the uh, rail was actually diverted around most of the hill, and it only now uses the northern part of the tunnel, uh, because that part of the tunnel apparently was high enough to get the electrification through. So the rail tunnel, most of it was disused from 1965 onwards. I believe you can get over there and see it, but I'm afraid I didn't walk over there. I wanted to go through the canal tunnel. Well, I'm now queued up to go through the tunnel, and I'm on the water point. Yes, the tunnel keeper asked me to stop this side on the water point. Well, as you know, I'm not a history channel. I'm just wanting to bring you a little bit of insight to the history around our network and I thought that it was worth doing because I thought air cars and tunnels were well they're very important in our history of the canal network and possibly for the rail network although I don't know much about railways I must admit although I do love old steam trains well that's going to bring us to the end of this video of course a big thank you goes out to all of my Patreon, PayPal, Super Thanks supporters and everybody else who supports the channel in any which way you do and that includes, of course, watching my videos. And if you're watching and you're not already subscribed, please do subscribe. It is free, and it really helps the old YouTube algorithm out to promote my videos. The more subscribers I get, the more likely they are 
to show my videos to other people. And when you subscribe, click the old bell notification button and also the all options button. That way YouTube will inform you every time I upload a new video. Well, that just leaves me to say, thank you very much for watching. Trevor out.